this mysterious God. I love this mysterious God whom I cannot control. I like this mysterious God who has created the universe so vast that even my mind cannot estimate. Then that is a God. Not the God I see in the mirror or the God I form in my own mind or the God whom I conduct and control to tell him that if this is right with me then it is right with God. I wouldn't worship that kind of a God. I want a God of mystery, the unseen God, the one that demands faith, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I want that kind of God. When I ask for money, he gives me a promise. And he says, I will fulfill it, for the way that cometh out of my mouth shall not come unto me void. I want that kind of a God. A God of promise. Abraham dwelt in tents all his life. But he saw a city from afar by faith. A city that is not built by man. A city that is built by God. That is faith. That is the kind of God I want to worship. That is the God of mystery. So what is the greatest knowledge? The greatest knowledge is the knowledge of God. Is it the knowledge of self? We have discarded that away. Self is helpless. I cannot help myself. I cannot redeem myself. There is nothing I can do of myself. This Hinduism that is today being packaged in Christian terminologies, the knowledge of self, you just have to know yourself, you just have to do this to yourself, it is useless. It leads people to depression and even suicide. Because there is nothing in me. There is nothing from within. But everything is from above. I would like to conclude with this verse. This is our last verse, I promise. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12, as we seal our message today. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. says, now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God. Is that clear? Two kingdoms. Two wisdoms. One from beneath and the other from above. There is no other direction. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God. That we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. So even the discernment of good things comes from God himself. For man knoweth nothing except the spirit that is in him. But only the spirit of God knoweth the things of God. With things also, also we speak. Not in the words which, man, uh, which man's wisdom teaches. But which the Holy Ghost teaches. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judges all things, that he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? It's a question. So for who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? Listen to the answer. But we have the mind of Christ. Can we know God? Yes. Yes, we can. Yes, we can know God. And there is no other way. But it is through Christ, the God man, who came and died for my sins and your sins. I am looking forward to see this God. Amen. I am really looking forward to see this God. And as we tap into 2017, I hope that we may our day may become brighter and brighter until that perfect day. God is the one that established the system of yearly count. 360 days did he give to the Jewish people. It does not matter what Pope Gregory did by changing the calendar. It does not really affect us that much. We still need to plan for the year. We need to plan for the year. Even if things start tomorrow start to commit our plans to God. You know, I've read a statement from the Spirit of Prophecy. You know, angels are only involved in your work when you plan. When your things are in order. That's when angels can come in and say, oh, this one does not need to be here. Let's, when you plan. But when things are just haphazard and everything there, angels cannot be involved. So we need to involve angels in our planning for this year. As you plan for your year, Know that everything is carried forth and is manifested by God. There is nothing that you can do. You can have a calendar to do this and do that. Unless the Spirit of God is within you and God is directing your path, 
that doesn't come to fruition. Everything that you do with your own hand is vanity. May God bless you and keep you. Amen. Amen.